Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's a lovely day. We're up next to the dinghy and we're going on the maiden voyage with my dad to pull some crab pots. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! From the last year, this was the beaten up dinghy. Check it out now. This is all done up. My dad's refiberglassed it, redone all the paint and the gel coat at the bottom. She's ready for action. What a beast. The man of the hour. <laughs> Fishing rods in hand. <laughs> Coming up to Lily May. First time I've seen her in the water since last year. She's a beast. You jump up first? Yep. Check that out. He's got a fancy bait table. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lockdown bait table. The lockdown bait table. Check that out. That's a beast, eh? <laughs> nice. Away as well. It's got all of his bait cages. He's going to start putting all of his crab pot bait into these now. Saves it a little bit. Stops all the congas nicking it. Brilliant idea. He's getting the bait prepped. Got a few mackerel there. We got conga left over from the catch and cooks. Nothing goes to waste. And it absolutely stinks. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Coming up. See what we get today. Hopefully, a few more crabs. Baby one. Yeah. Lovely little lobster. Second pot. A spider crab, and there's a lobster in there. Oh, she might just be out. Yeah, she's out, eh? Yeah. Oh, nice to see the spiders coming in anyway. We're on the next string now. 
we're keeping them aboard so we can uh we're gonna put them out somewhere else hopefully we can get some nice keepers around here somewhere we're in really shallow water here come on you lobsters first pot's coming up Two lobsters. Oh yeah, that's what we came for, baby. Look at those bad boys. <laughs> there we go, guys. There's two lobsters in there. That was going to be a close one, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a golf ball? Yeah, golf ball. <laughs> Not far. Uh, telephone. Yeah, telephone. <laughs> She looks like she's in as well. Yeah. Yep. She's in. Really. Nice. Oh, there's another one at the back. Oh, yeah. yeah, three lobsters in that pot. Lady crab. Lady crab. There you go, another little lobster. Oh, you had a few in that one. Nice. Next pot. And there's lobsters. One small one there, guys. That one's quite small, I'm not sure. Nah, she's just out. That was unlucky. Another lobster. Get in the lobbies. It just shows the spiders are starting to come in now. Look at that, some nice little males there. got the next string here we got to be quick because we're really close in at the rocks at the moment there's uh, little bollards everywhere so you got to be a bit a bit quick about it so we're going to get these up hopefully we can show you some lobsters we're on to the next string there she comes captain is there any larry's in there new pots one lady, oh there's a lobster, a little one though. That's unlucky eh? I love the way they shoot down, it looks amazing. Eh? She is. Oh, I see a lobster. Get yeah, yeah, I'll sort this out. With little shankers. It's a little bit better one. Not in size though. You want that one? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Check that one. Nah, she's well out that. Good idea, those bait cages, eh? Yeah, they look. <laughs> Just need a little bit more designing. Oh, yeah. Oh, they work. Beautiful. Oh, there's a lobster. Come on, last string. Go and get these big old lobsters. First one's coming up. There's a lobster 
lobster in there. Oh, she got me close. Two lobsters. Oh, I reckon they're small these. Yeah. Look at that, a little tiny prawn. It's like a longestine, that thing. Another little baby one. Hey hey. Bloody lobsters, just small ones, eh? Yeah, it's fished all the time, it's so close. Yeah. No, that's not what you want. You want those big boys. <laughs> Next spot's here. Oh, I'm full of weed. Some crabs in there. All the seaweed. Yeah. One brown crab, one lobster. There's some weight in this boat now. There's eight pots there, ready to catch some lobsters. I like the idea of the cages like this. It's gonna work a treat. Just parked up for a little bit. We had to come in early because that wind's kicked up. We got a little shanker there. That was definitely in size. And then we got the little telephone here as well. Not the best trip in the world, but loads of lobsters, just no real big keepers. But my dad's in his ground where he really enjoys now, so hopefully he gets a few more. Back in the kitchen now, guys. We've got a little telephone there. That's what they call a lobster with no claws. It's just a telephone. <laughs> and we got a nice brown crab. I've pinned this so it can't bite me. I should have shown you really. I'll show you on the next one, which you just, you open up the claw and just tap in there with a knife. And what that does is stop it from closing down its claw and pinching you. So what I'm gonna do with this, I got, I got sent this by a subscriber in my PO box, some shrimp and crab boil. Xanarans, I think it's called. And uh, we, I'm gonna try it out. But I've been wait, wanting to use this and this is the perfect time. So what I'm gonna do is prep the crab now. I'm gonna take the shell off it and all the uh, innards. So I'm just left with all of the meat and the claw. Just in the garden at the moment. How I like to dispatch the crab guys is straight underneath here is pretty much his nervous system. So if you get a screwdriver and go straight in and then just twist around and there you go see all the crabs gone completely limp and that is it completely dispatched ready for cooking really simple and then it's not so cruel just leaving it in the uh in the boiling water beautiful what you do take all the dead man's fingers off these are the gills take out the mouth there you go and you can just pull the guts out you've got a back flap here where its reproductive organs are that comes out and all i do is just give that a little rinse and that's ready for steaming and inside here i'll just show you guys i wanted to keep all of this this is cart wings this is a great bait this is the inside of the shell and that there i'm going to save for a nice gilt head bait or a bass So what I'm going to do with this guys, I've just got some water, I'm just going to put just about an inch and a bit in there and then what I'm going to do is add some of the crab boil, wait for that to get up to a nice rolling boil and then we'll add our crab. So now all we're doing with this, 
This is all just nerves. This lobster is completely dispatched. And we're going to cut down the shell. It's a nice solid lobster as well. Just like so, straight down the shell. And we're going to open it up. That's it. Get the tail nice and open. We're essentially we're butterflying this lobster. There we go. And then we've got the poo track in the back here. That comes out straight in the bin. And we're going to fill this with garlic butter. So there we go. We've got our garlic butter all mixed up. All we're going to do is get our lobster straight in the tray. And then we've got our lovely butter here. And you just want to spread that straight over the meat. I love a lot of garlic butter. I left the head meat in just to add to the flavour a little bit. It shows how fresh this is when it's still twitching. Beautiful. Right, loads of garlic butter on there. And that is job done. That goes straight in the oven. I'm going to put my crab in now. Got This actually smells delicious. So that goes in, I'm going to leave that boil up in there and then by the time this is done, the lobster will be done. This is smelling absolutely delicious. This stuff doesn't have to get up your nose though. I'm only going to give it another couple of minutes and the crab's going to be perfectly done. Ready to eat. And the lobster is looking even better than there. If I do say so myself, that looks absolutely amazing. Got a nice fresh crab there in that Zanaran's crab boil. And we got lobster with garlic butter in the oven. Nice. All we need now is a little bit of fresh lemon on there. Job done. Oh, look at that. It's actually no wind here in the garden. But out there, that wind was kicking up just as we were in the boat. Check that out. I gotta try the crab first. Something I've never tried before is this crab boil. Mmm. It's got a lovely taste to it. Tell when a crab's cooked properly. Check that out. It's even got a little bit of spice there as well. Oh, that's really good. Mm. When it's in the bottle, it doesn't smell that great. But once it's cooked in the crab, you get a little bit of heat from it. And it's got a nice little zing. Mm. I'm impressed with that. Oh, you can't beat some fresh crab. Big shout out to my dad because uh, he didn't have anything to eat today. He gave me the crab and the lobster, just for a cook up. Oh. oh, that's delicious. Now for a little bit of lobster. Oh. Just gonna grab a big chunk out of here. Check that out. Nice juicy piece of lobster. When it's cooked like that, it just falls apart. Absolutely delicious. Even the dog wants some. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. 
That is so delicate, that lobster. That is to die for. You want a little bit, dog? There you go. Yum. That tastes good, eh? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's definitely that spice that makes it. There's just a perfect amount of heat with that. It's not going to blow your head off, but it gives that nice, perfect flavour. Absolutely delicious. Alright, so I'm going to finish off my lunch, guys, or breakfast. So stay tuned for the next episode. Big shout out to the uh, subscriber who sent me that crab ball. That was delicious. I can't remember your name, so I apologise for that. But yeah, I really appreciate it. Big shout out for my dad for taking me out. It was nice to finally get out and get, get on the boat again. So if you want any merch, the link's in the description. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!